Greetings everyone. I'm so glad Penny's invited me to say a few words. Uh, and to those of you who I haven't met before, I'll introduce myself. I'm Kathleen Maguire. I was uh, the Minister of Music at the Congregational Church of San Mateo for about 18 months. Uh, but we had a wonderful time then uh, and I actually came back and visited and did a performance there uh, more recently. So uh, I left in 2013 to come back to Australia because my mum wasn't well. Uh, she is still uh, declining with her dementia. Uh, obviously it's, you know, it's been seven years now so there's been quite a decline in that time. She's still living with my, uh, at home with my dad in a retirement village, uh, knows who I am some of the time. So we've been fortunate that at least her uh, decline has been slow. But one of the things we've noticed this year during um, COVID and the lockdown and so forth is that she hasn't been singing in her choir. So uh, that has actually contributed to, to her decline because she is so much more... Uh, focused and uh, seems to remember a lot more when she when she sings. So um, I'm just mentioning that to encourage you all to join the choir. I've watched some of the services you've been producing and they're absolutely wonderful. So I hope you all uh, are availing yourselves of those. And isn't it wonderful that we can still find ways to connect during uh, these lockdown times? So uh, just to give you another update on, on my life, I moved back here to Australia in 2013 uh, and in 2014 I met Audrey and she had recently moved to Australia with her family. Uh, she has three children and uh, we fell in love and we got married and we bought a house and uh, so we all live here with the three children. Well, until Oh, next week because our eldest is moving out uh, so he's 21 and we have a dog and his name's Chico and uh, he's been a joy especially during lockdown he's a rescue dog half <coughs> excuse me half border collie and half staffy so uh, a little bit American and a little bit Australian just like me so uh, my primary job now is in education and I'm so lucky that I made that move because all of my friends who rely primarily on making a living in the arts are struggling. So uh, next time you see somebody performing live, uh, you know, do support them as much as you can. And I know that we have some wonderful musicians there in uh, San Mateo. So this brings me to um, the choirs that I'm directing now. Uh, I direct um, a group called the Tudor Choristers, which is an auditioned choir that uh, does primarily classical works, uh, often a cappella, which means without accompaniment. And I also direct the, uh, the university choir where I work. So I work at the Australian Catholic University and I uh, teach primarily music education. So excuse me, I teach teachers, and uh, but I also direct the choir. So this year we've been in lockdown and a friend of mine whose name is Stephanie Tay, uh, who is the assistant conductor of the Lesbian and Gay Chorus here in Melbourne, uh, she wrote a beautiful piece called Till We Meet Again and some of the members of that choir uh, sang it and I just fell in love with the piece and I just thought wouldn't that be a great thing to do to bring together uh, singers at the university and I asked Stephanie if we could use the piece and she said yes. So we invited singers from um, campuses across the country, there are multiple campuses uh, of Australian Catholic University in Australia and uh, so I think we have about 50 participants so I thought I'd share this with you today uh, as, a, as a way of thinking about the way that we, can, you know, we will connect in person again. We will continue to find ways to connect electronically and just know that everyone is still there for each other. 
one of the great blessings for me coming back here is being able to stay connected with people in the United States. Uh, and there are some people I hear from very regularly, such as Rosemary, who uh, is on Facebook. So if you're on Facebook, do reach out to me. Um, and it's been great keeping connected with a lot of people from the choir as well. So I hope you're all doing okay. Let's hope that 2021 is full of bright and exciting things. I'm feeling very optimistic. Uh, and let's hope that uh, we can uh, rise above this awful pandemic uh, and into a bright new future. Much love to you all. Uh, many blessings from my family to yours. Yeah.